Good evening. I'm, uh, I'm John Bridgeland. Um, Ron asked me to co-chair this conference with uh, Mike Holtzman, who's here. And on behalf of Mike um, and I, I'd like to welcome all of you to CCON 2012. Um, this is a business-minded group. When I, one of my business friends uh, said, what's CCON, an underwater container business? I said, no, no, CCON is the first annual social entrepreneurship conference at the College of William and & Mary. And I, and I can tell you, I, um, I go to a lot of these social entrepreneurship conferences around the country. I was just in Miami for something called The Gathering, which is a collection of the nation's most um, innovative nonprofit leaders, people like Jeffrey Kennedy of the Harlem Children's Zone and Wendy Kopp of Teach for America. But what's so extraordinary to me is there are always two key sectors missing. One's the business community, and the other's the academic community. And those two sectors have so much to teach. And so for me and Mike and all of us, I think what's so exciting is that uh, CCON 2012 is really the marriage of these three sectors, but particularly the business community to look at the power of uh, social innovation and social entrepreneurship. I also um, uh, have a real, I want to thank um, Dean Larry Pulley, who's right here, Ron Marnark, um, Provost Talleran, Drew Stelgis, uh, and all the officials at Weave and Mary who have done such extraordinary work to bring this conference together. I also want to say um, Taylor Reevely, who's not with us tonight, I think is one of the best college presidents in America. Uh, I know this because my daughter's a senior here, and the students literally have his face on t-shirts everywhere they go. They love him. And uh, he's just such a charismatic leader and cares so much about uh, the institution that you all love. I also feel a little bit like we're in a Harry Potter movie and that uh, Larry Pulley should get out the sorting hat and Gryffindor and Slytherin and Hufflepuff, but instead food and water and conservation and health and all the things we're going to be talking about over the next few days. I'm also moved uh, quickly to do a quiz. Um, it's a remarkable thing how many uh, extraordinary Americans have been uh, alumni of William & Mary. So for the non-William & Mary people in the room, who's that portrait? No, right over there. James Monroe. And in front, John Tyler, of course. Thomas Jefferson, here. William Mary, here. James Blair, and I was told, I didn't know this, Queen Anne. Um, so uh, it's, it's a wonderful room in an historic place, and in a place where, you know, Washington and Jefferson, um, who knew each other and actually shared a favorite quote, it was, um, we cannot ensure success, but we can deserve it. And I think at the end of this conference, when we look back at all that we've learned, I hope we can take all this uh, innovation and these bright ideas um, into uh, each sector. But one of the most important parts of my job tonight is actually to thank the people who made this possible, the sponsors of the event. And you'll hear from Mike, uh, Mike Holtzman tomorrow, um, and I'm sure he'll talk more about this. But I wanted to give a special uh, and very warm thank to uh, Sheikh Hamad Althani, who's right here and just joined us, came through storms and bad weather to be with us, all the way from Doha, I understand, to be with us tonight. So that's a warm round of uh, applause. He's such a force in and of himself, but he's also with the Gutter National Food Society program. Also, uh, Lisa Merner, who had an extraordinary career at EPA and in public service, and uh, now is uh, Dominion Resources, and uh, she's another sponsor of this event. I wanted to thank Lisa for your wonderful support.